Deborah Samuel, OPC wants federal government and northern leaders. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. It is getting really hot, really, really hot. Demands prosecution of perpetrators. The Odua People's Congress has called for northern leaders and the federal government to halt immediately the ongoing ethno-religious violence in Sokoto and other northern states, as well as guarantee the safety of the lives and businesses of Southerners in the north. In a statement by OPC's president, Otumba Wasiu Afolabi, the group also demanded an immediate arrest and prosecution by, by directly mobilizing rioters and through making inflammatory statements following the killing of the female student of the Shehu Shagari College of Education, Sugotu. These people must know that nobody has a monopoly of violence. Nobody should provoke Yoruba people. Northerners cannot continue to take laws into their hands. We hold President Muhammad Buhari and all the governors responsible for these provocative resorts to violence by rioters. Northern leaders must immediately put a stop to this madness because it is capable of provoking reprisals from other parts of the country. OPC said, adding, enough is enough. Condemning the killing of Ms. Deborah Samuel in the Shehu Shagari College of Education, Sugotu, the Yoruba Social Cultural Group describes her murder as unwarranted, barbaric, and provocative. Afolabi said, we demand justice for Ms. Deborah Samuel, whose life was brazenly cut short in her prime. OPC demands that Achilles must be hunted down, brought to justice, and made to face the maximum punishment that the law detects. Describing the spiraling violence as unjust and provocative, OPC warned that it would not fold its arms while Yoruba and Southerners were being killed and maltreated in the north by rampaging fundamentalists. He added, equally, we note with much concern the provocative statement by, made by some religious and regional leaders who flagrantly justified the killing of Miss Deborah Samuel. We demand that such disgruntled elements must be arrested and charged the court. According to Afolabi, he stood logic on his head and it was a proof of the collusion between authorities and religious fundamentalists the fact that the arrest of a suspect in Sokoto's killing sparked riots in Sokoto and some northern cities. All pieces said, this is what we have always said about the structure of the president's Buhari security architecture. The only thing that has emboldened these mobsters is the fact that all the security levers are under the total control of northerners who will treat their violence with key gloves. Recalling the former president Olusha Gobasanjian was declared that security agencies should shoot on sight members of OPC and other self-determination groups for no justifiable reason. Afolabi wondered why President Muhammad Buhari had failed to read the riot act of rampaging rioters in the north, now maiming, killing, and looting, looting with reckless abandon. OPC called for Buhari to borrow relief from General Sani Abacha's handling of the Wahhabis involved in the 1995 beheading in Kano of Gideon Akaloka, a southeasterner. These misguided miscreants must learn the hard way that the true God Almighty does not demand human sacrifice and on no account should they ever take the life of anybody, Afolabi said sincerely. <laughs> sincerely. And the thing is, these people, do you know they have been killing these people? They have been killing these people. Is it not Boko Haram? Boko Haram will come and kill them. Bandits will humiliate them. And these people will keep quiet. These people. Sometimes I wonder the kind of where the space they come from. Sometimes I wonder if they are not humans. I wonder if they are aliens, to be sincere with you. The northern Muslim are cowards in nature. Mohammed, they say, Afo, is not a slave, is not a slave child of Ismail. Mohammed, <laughs> no, please don't go there. Abacha killed the Islamic murderous gang that killed Akoluka years back on trumped up charges without evidence of desecration of the Quran. The same treatments must be applied to this murderers for justice to be served on behalf of Deborah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. While I may agree with OPC against killing, I will, not, I will 
also points out that anybody condemning their dastardly action is, to me, a bit hypocritical. The simple message is that these people want an Islamic state and people are just shying away from the truth. This project is no longer working. If they want an Islamic state, how is that our problem? We do not want an Islamic state and we are not all Muslims. So the thing is, we should come together. Come together. This dialogue is long overdue. Have this dialogue and decide if we really want this or not. The presidency are the one that is holding us captive. Yeah. The Middle Belt people are not happy. A lot of people are not happy in this contraction. Told the part of dialogue, no. But if Buhari hears that the neighboring country is fighting, he will go, he'll be the first to go and tell them to tamper just with mercy and to tell the part of dialogue. Yet he will never ever practice what he preaches. In Saudi Arabia, this will not happen. There will be a trial and judgment. Anyway, Fulanis has a DNA of colossal, <laughs> colossal lunatics. But at the end of the day, I keep saying that the government are the one fooling these people. The OPC have spoke well. And this is the dangers of giving one region to, to one part, as in giving an office to one particular region. This is the danger. They will keep, you know, even when it is going to be, it is going to be danger to all other regions. They don't care. Had it been in a South Westerner, a Northerner, a South Southerner, you know, all these geopolitical zones or different geopolitical zones are involved in this whatever now. They would have taken action. Yes, nobody is going to side anybody. If the one that is looking like their brother wants to come, they will brush him off. What are you talking about? You're talking about, you know, but this one, the, even the security agencies, they are all powerless. Yeah. Looking like this was all planned. Sincerely, the things will happen with the body language of the government and with everything that has happened. You cannot help but believe that this was pre-planned. Just like we are not even hearing anything about the Abuja to train uh, victims who are still in the den of their doctors. Okay, we'll continue to commiserate with the family of Jebera. And I'm, I'm going to make an appeal to all of us. Please, let us mind what we see at this point in time. The country is heated up. This is not a time to come out and make remarks that are going to be offensive. No matter your grievances, please, in commenting, Please comment in such a way that you don't get to offend anyone. Nigeria is sitting on a time bomb. We cannot allow a religious war to start now. It is not going to end well. The calamity is too great. We are already we have already broken up. <laughs> what is what is holding us together is less than a piece of thread. We should not allow this time bomb that is ticking to explode. On this note, we have come to the end of a news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time.